Hello everyone, welcome to our Sun Bookshop Recommends uh, lockdown edition again. Uh, today I am recommending Deborah Levy's memoir, Real Estate. Uh, I love any chance to gush about Deborah Levy. Uh, her series of memoirs have been one of my favourite discoveries of recent years. Um, they're a series of living memoirs, so she's writing them while she's still alive, kind of reflecting on different periods of her life. This is the third one, and uh, it's about her life as a 60-year-old uh, woman, kind of looking back on where she's come from, where she's going, and she's used this metaphor of real estate to kind of tie it all together, uh, this idea of a house that she's always thought would be in her future, a house with maybe, and she's added different things over the years to what this house would have, like a fountain in a garden and an egg-shaped fireplace and um, all of these wonderful things. And then also this sort of shadowy figure of who else would be sharing this home with her. Uh, it's so stunningly written. Um, one of those books where you kind of want to go back and underline every single paragraph. She has these great insights that are just dropped in. There's a lot about um, being a woman in the world, a lot of uh, reflections on motherhood. She's got grown up children in this book. And I think what I really love connecting with is how she reflects on writing, the writing life, the creative life. Um, so it's very philosophical. It's also got, she's got a great sense of humour, these really dry, witty observations. Uh, and yes, one of those really philosophical books that articulates things that you, you think of, but you can't really ever describe. Um, so yes, I don't know if I described it very well, but I absolutely loved it. I really recommend it, not just for people who love writing and literature, but for anyone who wants to uh, have an insight into this incredible, thoughtful, genius woman who's also very funny and self-aware and um, yes, one of my favourite writers. So that's Real Estate by Deborah Levy. Wow, that sounds amazing. <laughs> it is so good. Um, this week I'm going to recommend... Winter in Sock Show uh, by Elisa Shua Dusapin. I probably have pronounced that incorrectly and I apologise. Um, this novel, I just picked it up and started to sort of flick through it and immediately it grabbed me. The um, So it's the debut novel um, of a French-Korean author um, and it's set in the border town, uh, the South Korean border town of um, Sokcho, um, so bordering with North Korea. And it's a, sort of a seaside holiday destination town, but in the middle of winter there's not a lot going on. It's very snow-filled um, and there's hardly any tourists and it follows the story of this young woman who um, works at a guest house um, but it's not the type of guest house that's in any guidebook it's the kind of place you go when nowhere else has any vacancies and a um, mysterious French uh, comic book author turns up and um, it kind of makes the the main character begin to question who who she is. Um, it kind of it's this really interesting look at um, obviously her dual nationality, um, but she's grown up in Korea. So the um, the main character is half Korean, half French, um, and it's sort of yeah, just that kind of divide of someone in their early 20s trying to find themselves she's gone off to to Seoul and um graduated university and then moved back um to help look after her mother who is a, a local fishmonger and it's just kind of these really interesting explorations of tradition and responsibility um of the youth to their to their elders and also to their culture and um this mysterious stranger coming in kind of makes her begin to question that and she starts to form a kind of attachment to him. Um, and, yeah, it's just it's so sparingly written but explores so much and says so much as well. And I, I just keep, every, every time I try and explain it to someone, I'm just like it reminds me of the way um, Albert Camus writes in The Outsider. It's just kind of that there's... 
so much said without saying too much and it's just really fantastic I it's it's only a a very skinny novel um but it's fantastic and I think it's um just like a really interesting study on identity and also um I've never read anything that's set in Korea before and I very much enjoyed it so um yeah that's winter in Sokcho is my recommendation for today. Um, and now we will hear from our guest authors, uh, Graham Simpson and Anne Bu- Bust, talking about Two Steps Onward. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye. So, hi, I'm Graham Simpson and... I'm Anne Bust. And this was our first book in the series. Two Steps Forward. And this is our second book in the series. Two Steps Onward. And we strongly recommend you read Two Steps Forward first and then read Two Steps Onward. Um, A little bit of armchair travel, um, a little bit of a meditation on some of the big issues of life you might reflect on on a long Camino walk. But you also asked us, what were we reading? And... I've just finished Jacqueline Bubulitz's um, fabulous book about Before You Knew My Name. Um, Really recommended, great thriller, but it's, it's got a real heart. And tomorrow night, I'm going to be launching Tanya Chandler's all that I remember about Dean Kohler. A bit of a, a tough read in some ways, um, but a woman you know, reflecting on her, her traumatic youth and what it's, uh, what it's actually done to her later in life. Tanya's a really good writer.